Well, I've done some videos in the past about the best and worst Nissan Infiniti wheels from the factory, but I can't believe I haven't done a video yet about the best wheels for the Infiniti Q50. Now, this is mostly going to be focused on wheel design, but I'm going to give you specific wheels that I think personally look the best on the Infiniti Q50. Now, if any of the wheels mentioned in this video pique your interest whatsoever and you want to get a hold of a set, check out Motorsports LA. I'll put a link in the description below to their website or check out their Instagram page. I'm sure the team over there can set you up right with any set of wheels that you're looking for for your because let's face it, there's a lot of wheels out there and a lot of different price points and a lot of um, a lot of people will say that you get what you pay for, but it's not always necessarily true. You can get some really nice wheels with similar designs to some of those more expensive ones for uh, a fraction of the price. Real wheels versus reps is a whole other topic of conversation. Maybe we'll do a video about that later, but let's get started with our top five wheels for the Infiniti Q50, starting with number five. I'm going to start with works, actually. I've never really been a fan of them, but they've started to grow on me over the last couple of years, just seeing them on more and more Q50s with different color variations. Uh, you can't deny the unique design and uh, the uh, unique look that they can bring to the Q50, especially when, when kind of, you know, just on that right car with the right accessories and the right stance. Number four, I'm going to say Kenzai or Kenzai or Kenzai. I don't know how to say. We've seen them on a ton of cars and a ton of Nissan Infiniti cars over the years, these and G's and whatnot, and they look so good there, and we're starting to see them more on the Q50. Let me know in the comments. Spell it out phonetically for me so I know how to pronounce it properly. But uh, I think, oh, God, what is the actual model? Uh, you'll see the pictures. But I, I, I love a nice offset, a nice aggressive offset on the Q50, and we're seeing... Uh, Q50s be involved in motorsports more and more now as people pick these up at a, at a better price point and uh, start to use them for what I really feel like this car should be used for and uh, at a good a good price point for this particular wheel nice color options and again that aggressive offset they look really good on the Q. For the number three best overall wheel for the Infiniti Q50 I'm gonna say TEs. It's hard to deny the timeless classic look of a nice six spoke wheel and the Q50 uh, a six spoke wheel on the Q50 is no exception. They look super super good. The TEs in particular particular look great a uh, nice little lip nice set, little bit of concavity in the wheel design uh, they look really really good this is where the te fanboys get a little bit crazy though because people seem to think that that the te 37s are the original the real wheel the real six spoke wheel and that every six spoke wheel on the market is a rep of the tes that's just false there are literally thousands of six spoke wheel designs out there by different manufacturers now some are better than others and of course uh, volk tes are her top quality nobody's denying that but to think that every six spoke wheel on the market is a rep is just it's just dumb so and, and in fact i think there's some out there that are actually better looking than the tees might have a better or a deeper look for example which is my preference the angle of the spokes themselves is a little bit uh, nicer a little more attractive than the tees um, so this is one of those situations where I say the design overall is the more important element. So again, there's some better quality wheels than others, but I think that six spoke look on a Q50 is top notch. Here we are down to the top two. This is a tough one. The top two is very difficult because I'm quite partial, but let's go. First of all, let me know in the comments below what your favorite wheel is for the Q50 because certainly there are a number of really good looking wheels out there and I passed by a couple of that I wanted to include and I thought wow this list is going to get way too long and maybe we'll follow up with like a, an honorable mention list but for now we're going with the top five. Here's my top two. Number two. Ah, it's so hard. Number two I'm going to say the Ford Star F14s. It pains me to say that it's number two and not number one because I've had these on the Q50, of course. They look fantastic in that gunmetal or anthracite gray on the black. Oh, God, what a great combination. They have really, really nice offset options, some really deep concavity uh, capabilities. Um, mine was a wine, mine are plus 29s. Uh, so you get a real nice deep dish look in those wheels. Uh, it looks fantastic with the rear end of the Q50, kind of the, the bubbly quarter panels that the Q50 has. Uh, deep offset, an aggressive offset wheel looks really good on that car. And that's kind of what the Q50 needs, in my opinion. That's why it makes it in the top two. I think it's just a kind of a unique looking wheel. They're relatively light and they just they just go with the car so, so well, no matter what color you choose. So four star F14s, check out Motorsports LA if you want to get a, get a hold of the set of wheels or any of the wheels on this list. I'm sure they can help you out, but let's continue on. Number one. You know what? I can't hardly believe it myself, but a factory Nissan wheel has made it atop the list. The number one wheel for the Infiniti Q50 is in my opinion, 
the Nismo V1s. Oh my gosh, what a good looking wheel. They, they literally check all the boxes that we've talked about for these previous wheels in this video. They have that beautiful, aggressive concavity that we all know and love, and that accentuates and complements the body lines of the Q50 so well. You know, those wide quarter panels, the wide rear end, and that sort of curvy front end of the Q50, it needs that deep concavity. On top of that, they're relatively light, uh, and on top of that, more importantly, they have that five spoke design. I know we talked about the T's with the six spokes and that's a classic look, but the five spoke wheel, you can't get more classic and more timeless than that. On top of that, they, you know, if you have the big brake upgrade, for example, they allow you to see that uh, drilled and slotted rotor, those bigger calipers, the painted calipers, if you have them, it's just a great wheel to show off your brake setup. And not to mention, they look fantastic on a car that's slammed to the ground on bags or at just normal ride height, like, you know, with a, a slight drop with um, coilovers or lowering springs, for example. They look good in any form. I think that says a lot about a wheel, too. How good do they look with a car that's relatively stock? And how good do they look with a car that is, you know, heavily modified in terms of aesthetics? Lowered with a bunch of, uh, a bunch of aero added, for example, some side splitters, front splitters, spoilers. How, how good do they look in everyone's application or everyone's setup and i think all the wheels that i've listed here today would complement a car at any level of modification in my opinion and that's why these wheels have made it to my top five list again check out motorsports la if you get a chance go to their uh, instagram page check out their website reach out to them if you're interested in any wheels listed in this video they may or may not be able to get a hold of all of them but i have i have I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident in the group of people that work over at Motorsports LA that they'll be able to set you up right uh, with a nice set of wheels from any manufacturer that you're looking for. Uh, link in the description below to their website. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Let me know again in the comments below what your favorite wheels are for the Q50. Maybe we'll make a follow-up video here shortly. Appreciate you watching this one. See you in the next one.